Welcome to one of my Rune Terra highlight videos. I highlight a different deck almost every single day of the week. If you enjoy the content, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Enjoy. All right. Lux Karma. So, um, Lux and Karma are two champions that I believe in a uh, time before myself on Rune Terra, these champions saw a little bit of play together before they had their cost increase. So Lux and Karma technically have a little bit of synergy together. So Lux says, when I see you cast four plus or six plus mana worth of spells, level me up and create a final spark in hand and final sparks help you blast things. Karma synergizes with Lux in a couple ways when she's leveled. So when you're enlightened, Karma levels up. And then Karma's leveled mode says, whenever you play a spell, cast it again with the same target. So Karma recasting a spell counts as playing a spell with that, that mana cost twice for Lux. So for example, if you play a three mana spell with Karma and Lux in play, your Lux is going to get six mana total worth of spells that one three mana spell. Or if you play a Remembrance with Lux and Karma in play, you're going to get two six mana spells. Um... Karma also, in addition to helping you generate final sparks, Karma also doubles the final sparks themselves. So in addition to Karma making final sparks easier to generate, Karma also makes your final sparks more effective and more deadly. Now, the rest of this deck, there's a lot of different ways you could build the supporting core around it. We've got a few cheap units here in River Shaper and Tasty Tree Folk to hold the board down. We've got some cards like Blinding Assault and Succession, which are spells that generate units. So notably, they work well with um, Karma and Lux. We've got Vanguard Sergeant, which on the surface looks like a strange inclusion in a more controlling deck like this. But this is notably just a 3-3 three, three for 3 that generates us a 6-mana spell. So on occasion, this 4 Demacia is going to let us um, punch through for like lethal damage or like defend a board state nicely. But in general, this is just a cheap unit that plays to the board that also synergizes okay with Lux and, and Karma. The final spark kills the targets. The second one do nothing unless fizzle. It does 4 to the opponent's face, Glare. Which is, which is great. Yeah, yeah, the copy. The copy is just decimated. The first copy kills it. The rest of the deck is interaction, like Concerted Strike, Deny, Concussive Palm. I've got a cheeky Mina Swiftfoot here at the top end of the curve for the Feel the Rush decks. I've got some deep meditation for some card advantage. So let's go ahead and dive on into some games here with this one and see how it feels. Like, once Rune Terra flushes out their card pool more, remember the eventual plan is to have... Um, the eventual plan is to have uh, 10 regions all together. So we're going to have more region combinations than we currently have now once we just finish the card pool, essentially. I'm mulligan this here. I'm going to keep River Shaper because it's card advantage. Swain Twisted Fate tends to be a mid-range slash control deck. So a little bit of interaction in case they have Twisted Fate early. River Shaper to draw some cards. Remembrance for a fat friend sounds good to start. A lot of their removal is damage-based, so a good body from this can be very good. He had a few new follows in there. Zufu, Mr. Weinthine, and Evan Zina. Thanks for the follows. Welcome to Hoaglandia. Appreciate you dropping in tonight. Uh, I think we're on the, the turn three remembrance play here. Oh, well, we, are, we already have eight. Targon, Targon was region eight. They haven't formally announced what the other two regions are going to be yet. I know, I know uh, League of Legends technically has like 13 or 14 regions, I believe. So I don't, I don't know which of those exactly we're going to get and which ones we aren't. I think I want to start by killing a two power thing here because, um, well, I guess they're probably on flock anyways, right? Blocking the two power thing is better against make it rain. Blocking this is better against flock. We'll, we'll find out for sure which other regions we're going to be getting. Uh, I believe it's the February card drop will be the next 80 card card drop, which will have a new region in it. And then um, in uh, August again of next year, we'll have the 10th and final region. We're just going to play a Tasty Tree Folk here and get in there, buffer our life total back up. Don't want to get accidentally get Argoned out. Target is seven. No, I'm pretty sure Target's eight, right? Is it seven? Two. No, yeah, it's definitely eight. Looking looking at the regions here. On, uh, on my mobile page. 
Something for all. Death Float is. Our opponent's been hurt by Discard Aggro yet. Sir, Discard Aggro did mean terrible things to our opponent. We start with this, because at this point my life total is low enough that I'd rather River Shaper die than Tasty Tree Folk die. This is this is gonna die to a ravenous block here now. Yeah, there was uh there was a um in a developer AMA they said ten regions are currently planned. So ten ten is an official number, not a speculative number. Twisted Fate's only a 2 out of 8 so far. Ha! <laughs> I think I'm gonna lead on Blinding Assault here to see if we can get them to burn removal on Valor. Because otherwise Valor eats Twisted Fate. And then we can play this out post-combat and then gain life with it with Concerted Strike plus blocking next turn. Okay, I think I think this exchange is better for us than that happening to Tasty Tree Folk. Like my, life, my life total is a big concern at this point. It's like I'm banking one mana. Unfortunately, we don't quite have enough for Strike plus Deny or Strike plus Concussive Palm. Ha! It's another, it's another elite to make Vanguard Squire cheaper. By my hand, Noxus rise. Discipline is steel. Two turns off, or three turns off a of karma leveling. We're only at seven here. Then the question is, am I concerted striking to kill Swain, or am I concerted striking to kill Twisted Fate? I think Twisted Fate's got to go at this point, right? Will hold the line. We'll make sure we pick this to strike first so we get that life gain in. They don't have any way to kill this on only one man, I don't believe. Flock could be their only interaction. This isn't currently damaged. So, Boat is a real concern here, but I also don't have anything that can play around that, so I think we're just dropping Karma. Life, there is hope. Okay, that means no boat this turn, which is really good for us. Speaking of, there goes a boat. If they pass, I'm definitely passing back. Hopefully they, like, try to damage Karma and then kill her, and then we get to nopify the kill her and get a trigger at end of turn. Would be a pretty ideal spot. Actually, do I just stop the damage to begin with? I think I just stop the damage, because they probably have more flocks than actual damage. I was going to notify this. Drewski Brew, thank you for the sub gifty. I appreciate the support. Good evening. Hey! Playable spells! Yay! Playable spells! God bless, Karma. God bless us, everyone. Happy Friday to you, too.
Come on, Carmen, give us a stand, United. It's always nice when you can look at my hand and not know what card Karma gave us, because you're like, oh, these are all, like, maybe constructed playable cards. So having to do this, unfortunately, means that um, I can't Concussive Palm this, but I have plenty of blockers for him, so that's fine. The question is, do either of these kill Karma for three mana with two Powder Kegs? There's a real chance they do. Witness strength. This'll send them running. I'll buy some time. All or nothing. Interesting. This is really aggressive. That... That's a real good one to have, especially with leveled karma here. Okay. Uh, Remembrance into four Demacia here could... Could maybe win this game here. I think that's the play, right? Just like try and put them under put them under a bunch of abysses here. Courage, soldier. Okay. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. So like, yeah, get your, get, get your jump blocks here. Line them up. Line up the chubs. How's they been viewer wise? Uh, we've steadily gone up as the evening's increased. Or 450 is a good metric. I think we'll probably, probably do some regular evening streams from now on. See how they go consistently. Thanks everybody for dropping in tonight. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I stream full-time here on Twitch, with Runeterra being the primary game that I stream. I also do some variety stuff as well, but like, half or so of my content's Runeterra. If you're into into the feel of the channel, make sure you give it give us a follow. We play a lot of Constructed here with a lot of different decks. Usually play at least two to three Constructed decks every single day. I also have a YouTube channel that has highlights on it, as well as everything that I stream. In nice, easily digestible formats. Charmed, I'm sure. Do they have a way to stun this? They have three mana. Wait. So if I if I do this, we kill them? Rest. Collect your thoughts. Nice. 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 This kills a damage unit, and thanks to our health potion, our great thorn chain companion is no longer damage. Role assessment's pretty important. The question is, like, am I supposed to be the beatdown in this matchup? I have no idea. So, like, am I supposed to be mulliganing for my champions? Or am I supposed to, like, keep this remembrance? I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna keep the remembrance and mulligan the rest. We can do this on three. It says, we haven't drawn our cheeky Mita Swift foot yet tonight. Probably- probably gonna be a decent one in this matchup. So because a majority of the decks that I play on Stream Spirit are viewer submissions, I don't really intend to try and qualify via the ladder because hitting Masters and maintaining a Masters LP while doing that is uh, basically impossible with the range of things that we play. But I am planning, I have acquired three Prime Glory so far and plan to play in the last chance one. So kind of yes, kind of no. 
This is a the ideal hit considering we're the beatdown. Could you could you say my hand qualifies this game as a deep mirror match? Would that be would that be an accurate descriptor of what's going on on your screens? the DP rate. So they're down to this is 24 cards and they'll draw plus toss again next turn. So again, both of these had scout so I get another attack step here with my moose. The moose is loose, chat. Uh, I listened to a couple of the KDA songs when the when the things dropped and they seemed they seemed reasonable. That's not strictly the type of music I'm most into, but I can appreciate good art. And that definitely qualifies as good art. So easy open attack with my scout here. And then probably drop Lux down before we attack again. Hitting, hitting Moose off of uh, Remembrance was very, very fortunate. This game's drastically different if we don't have that card. Rex Clown, Vertex, K Yang. Thanks for the follows. Welcome to Hoaglandia. Opponent going that low on mana seems good for us, although notably they are one card away from deep now. Rather than playing Lux, I should probably play these two, huh? Because these are lethal. This is worse against Vile Feast, but also lets me draw a card, which seems fine. Oh, they're not quite lethal because it's going to gain two, right? Well, they are lethal if I order this last in combat. Yeah. So we'll attack with all three of these and I'll order these two first. They do have Vile Feast, okay. Changes but never breaks. You're in over your head. Hey, we've got them low, but they're going deep next turn. The hope's gonna be that Lux can help us help drag us across the finish line here with her uh, her laser beams. Them not blocking with this when we have Lux rolled up in hand is really good for us. They are, they are going to be deep on seven, so like if they have a Maokai here, that could be a real concern. This is this is going to turn into a monster here as well right away. Okay, that's a seven, seven. We are unfortunately two turns off of this still. Ever seen that animation before? Yeah, it's kind of funny. Just like... The random, random, what's it called, has a uh, random landmark. Has better animation value than, like, a lot of other card games. In the tank here, trying to figure out what they want to play. Assume they have a lot of choices in their hand with finally being deep and having seven resources now. Everywhere I go, the light follows. The light follows. So I'm going to have 11 mana this turn, which is one short of being able to double Lux. Mm, that's a good draw. All right, is that the play? I think that's the play now, right? 
I guess it could be this. If I... If I Remembrance plus Deep Med this turn, it makes Deep Meds cheaper next turn. But next turn, I probably want a Swift Foot anyways, right? Soldiers, me. I, think it's, I think it's Sergeant into Fort Demacia here. Teo Clutch, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Hoglandia. Good evening. Feel like my Lux is about to get vengeance. This could also... This could be ruination bait, but like also if they ruin it here, am I that sad? I feel like I'm not. I feel like if they ruinate me here, I'm okay with that. It could could just be vengeance, but it could also be ruination. Whale plus grasp, okay. Stand strong! And then, with this final spark in hand, I get to attack in here, and whatever they block here, I get to go ahead and final spark through it. Avenge me. A gift from the river folk. And, and both of these died, so this goes down to two now. Which is pretty good. It's about a tight game so far. And then hopefully they play Nautilus and then we just swift foot and like send them back and have good open attacks next turn. Just like by Felicia. If they if they Nautilus, we get to swift foot, send them back, and then have open attacks with deny, which is like pretty incredibly powerful. If they do something other than Nautilus here, we could Dub's Deep Meditation to draw a bunch of cards out of the deck and then Final Spark this, which is also pretty good depending on what they do. So I feel like I feel like we've got good good plays here regardless of what their sequencing is. My life total's kinda low here. Can I leave the Maokai alone? This also puts them to six. Oh, right, that's close. Killing killing this means Maokai's up to 18 out of 25. Like they're probably gonna play another cheap unit out here. I've got I've got enough gas in my hand. That I can probably kill them through Maokai obliterating most of my deck, which is nice. By the light. Hey Jeff, it's 3 a.m. in England. I'm tired. I'm very tired. Enjoy Jeff Bezos' money. I'm going to bed and will probably fail. Churn, the best piece of advice for getting to sleep is the following. Turn off all of your devices and the lights. Don't don't try and fall asleep with uh, with the internet going on. Thanks for the prime support. I really appreciate it, Nansono. Thanks for keeping me around. All right, so... Do we just do this... So I have an extra attacker next turn. I probably want to open on attacking with this anyways. If I played two spells this turn. Yeah, I played double deep mid, so this is cheap already. I'm gonna pass and see what they do. Hmm. 
How many cards do they have left? Seven. Blinding Assault here, actually. Because then I can open on Scout Attacks. Okay, our next down to four cards. So much for decking them, yep. Concussive Palm here. This is going to give me a final spark off of her, which lets me kill this and knock them to three. And this is giving me a three power, three power, uh, three power attacker. The problem with leading on Mina Swiftfoot is my opponent's potentially an extinction deck. So like if I play Mina and send their board back to their hand and they extinction us, I just lose on the spot. And like with this play, if they extinction, I get to deny it, which means we kill them. I think we want to deny that, right? How do we deal with Thoughtless? Uh, we just hook it and attack around it. Uh, Ruination, not Extinction. I, I don't know why I, I keep doing that. Ruination was the the sweeper in Hex TCG. We'll see who beats tonight. This is lethal, right? That gives me a final spark. So they're dead. They're dead to just sparks here. We blast this, they take three. We blast this, they take three. Really, really close game. Yeah, the, the, the moose that we hit early off the uh, Remembrance is like really critical to being able to pressure them. Paradise.